explore what's new at Lake San Marcos. Heather Lake is there this morning with a closer look. Heather, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I feel like I have the best job waking up on a Monday morning, getting to see the sunrise. I love this because basically if you've never been to Lake San Marcos, we're going to show you how to explore something new today. There's a new restaurant on the lake as well as plenty of things to do out here. If you love going out on boats, paddle boards, this is a super easy way to kind of enjoy a calm water, a body of water in San Diego. I always say like people who aren't ocean people, it's fine. We all still live here and we love the ocean and we love the beach, but sometimes it's nice to see something a little bit different. So good morning from Lake San Marcos. You're looking at the lake house over there, um, hotel, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Their new restaurant as well. And uh, good morning. Oh, we have a neighbor. Do we want to say hi? He's got his, his coffee up. Look at him. He's waving. Hi. Oh my gosh, I love this. He's coming outside. Maybe I should be a little quieter. I wonder if I woke him up. We're going to talk to Tanner, the recreations manager, and we're going to tell you how you can feed swans all out here while you rent one of these boats. Maybe a kayak if you're into like a littler boat. You basically can get whatever thing that you want to rent out here. So it starts here. You could go a little bit bigger. You go a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we have stand up paddle boards, kayaks, pedal boats. Uh, this right here is our large pontoon boat. It's our most popular pontoon boat. Uh, right now we're in the height of the season. So we're at about 120 an hour for these guys. Uh, we have duffies as well, which are our fully electric boats. Uh, make sure you also get some swan food so you can s feed all these beautiful swans out here. We have trumpeter swans, uh, some black swans as well. And then um, also make sure you ask us about our captain cruises where we can fit about 20 people on there. You can get dinner from Amalfi delivered as well. Okay. And then you can hit up our two golf courses after if you're still feeling like you want to you know, yeah. get active a little bit I as mean, well. Two golf courses, a lake, um, there's gondola rides, and now there's a new Italian restaurant. I feel like you're kind of getting out of San Diego and you're in this own little kind of hidden gem. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the new hidden gem of San Diego. I usually say that... Uh, you know, the hotel is, you know, the best staycation spot in San Diego, and it's a your unique boutique resort. Yeah. So it's 143 rooms, and then you can hit up the lake. It's really, really the, the nicest place in San um, Diego, in my opinion. We were, we were so rushed, by the way, to get out here. I totally <laughs> forgot about swan food, and these yeah. guys are very curious about us, though. So they Absolutely. are wishing that we had swan food. Do you have to get that at the marina before you go out on the boat? Yeah, so we have swan food over at the marina and then a few different locations along the shoreline. So make sure you pick that up. Uh, human food definitely is harmful for them. So right. make sure you feed them the swan food that we have designated for them. Uh, it's healthier for them and it'll help them grow and uh, repopulate so that we can have more beautiful swans on the lake. It is so peaceful out here right now. I could never imagine that at night sometimes it can change. I know that the does, hotel has yeah. a lot of events that happen. So even like if you want to come out and get that good night out, you can do that as well. You guys even have a couple of fun like comedy shows and different things going on in the next month. Yeah, so we have yeah, we do multiple things. So comedy shows, uh, we do movie nights uh, fairly frequently throughout the month. Um, on September 11th, we have a Dueling Pianos concert. Uh, Generally, we try to do those, you know, multiple times throughout the year. COVID put a damper on those things, but uh, we're trying to come back better, back uh, better than ever. So we'll have a few concerts going on in December. I think we have a few things planned for Christmas as well. So do you meet? Tuned. I love that. I'm, yeah. I'm so excited for the holidays. By the way, like the calendar is getting full. Yeah. So you know, for everyone who wants to come out, you guys obviously there's tons of boats. Great ways to get out with the entire family. You can even bring the little ones out on these because obviously you're not going fast. So the lake's about a mile and a half long. Do you do you meet a lot of the neighbors when you're out here cruising around? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So as you're cruising around, you'll meet a lot of the neighbors. They love to say hi. Um, they'll definitely, you know, give you a few uh, boating tips if you're a novice as well, if they see you driving around. So uh, definitely make sure you're friendly and, you know, respectful to the, the residents because they, they definitely help us uh, run this place and, and keep it keep it clean and safe for everybody. So. I was like, good morning, like really yeah. loud, Shali. And then the guy walks out of his house and I'm like, oh, maybe I should be a little bit quieter. And like, you know, just maybe not wake everybody up on a Monday super early. It'll be loud around 8 o'clock. Yeah. I feel like that's a good time to wake everybody up. I've been there. It is <laughs> so beautiful, especially in the morning when the sun's coming up, Heather. Oh, it's so tranquil. This is the best time. I do feel like all of the times when I am tired and putting the feet on the ground, right, when the alarm first goes off, you're like, whew, that hurt a little. But then you get here and your eyes open and it's a Monday and you don't, I mean, we never miss a sunrise, right? So here you have it. Um, and this is a great one. So hope all of you are feeling good and grab that cup of coffee with me. Absolutely. All right, Heather, thank you for sharing that with us. It really is a gem of a place.